Hi everybody, this video is covering questions 16 up to 19 of the specimen paper for IT for A-levels for 2020. The original video by Finn's papers does a really good job covering the remaining questions of the paper, but somehow I suppose in editing questions 16 of up to 19 got lost. So that's why I made this video covering only questions 16 up to 19. So for the other questions, see the original video, link in the description. As for us, let's get started with question 16. Okay, question 16. Apply the university's house style to row 1. To know what the university's house style is, we go back up here and we read that the University of Tawara logo includes italic red sans serif font on a pale blue background. It also uses these styles for all of its products. So this must be the house style we have to apply. So we go back to courses and let's select the entire first row and pick a nice red font and a nice blue color. And let's pick a nice sans serif font. We already have Calibri, but just for good measure, let's pick another one, Arial, which is also sans serif. And that's all for question 16. So remember, by the way, when we're saving it, we have to make sure that we save as XLS. So we click on Save As and choose Excel Workbook to get a .xlsx file extension. If we were to save as a CSV, we will lose all that formatting. It's very important. Make sure that you do File, Save As and pick Excel Workbook. And let's finally move on to the next question. The next question says, select only the courses where the code contains letters E and the number 2. We are going to use filter for this. I'm just going to uh, select the whole row and go to data, filter. And then it automatically adds a very simple filter. I want to create a very simple text filter using contains and I want it to contain E, the letter E, and I want it to contain the number 2. And there we have a list of all subjects which contain the letter E and the number 2. We also want to sort this in uh, level, the level in descending order and the faculty in ascending order. So let's select our table and under data again we go to sort. We click on sort and first we want to uh, sort the level and that was in descending order so from Z to A. And then I would like to add another one, which is faculty. And faculty should be in ascending order. And here we have a nice sorted list. Let's save it. Save as Tawara 2. And then my numbers. And let's move to the next. Next, we want to uh, open tutor.csv and we want to add this very simple text into cell A1. So far, so good. So here we have tutor.csv 
Remember the very first thing we want to do so we don't forget it later in the stress of the exam is save it as an XLSX. XLSX. Save as XLSX Excel workbook. Otherwise, we're going to lose all our work. In A1, we put the text they required. And what's next? Merge cell A1 to M1 into a single cell. A1 to M1. Merge. Apply appropriate formatting. I'll just do the same as I did before. I don't know what they mean by appropriate. But I guess that should be fine. We are going to place a date in cell J2. And we're going to restrict the data entry for the cell to ensure that it is uh, between 2010 and 2040. So we select here and we want data validation. Data, data validation, data validation. We want to allow only a date value and we want that date to be between the 1st of January 2010 and the last day of uh, the last day of 2040. So the 31st of December 2040. Input message. We don't need an input message. So we don't need to inform the user of what to put in there. So we're just not going to show an input message. We do want to show an error message. And we can pick between stop warning and info. I'm going to click on stop. And I'm just going to give it a nice title error. Please add a date value between 2010 and 2040 inclusive. Click on OK. So let's test it. First, we're going to test it by typing a gibberish instead of a date. Yeah, it gives us an error. Let's try and add a date in 2009. So for example, the 31st of December in 2009. That should also give an error message. Right. Or if we're later than 2040, we could uh, give the date the 1st of January 2040. Oh, excuse me. 2041. Yeah, that also gives an error message. But if we give any date between 2020, 2010 and 2040, it should work. So for example, 5 May of 2025, that should work. Yeah, that works. Okay, just for good measure, they don't ask it, but they mention the date format we need to use over here. So let's make sure that the format of that cell is correct. DD DD backslash MM backslash YY. So we're going to go over here to, we're just going to right click. And where was it? Format cells. And we know it should be a date and we're going to add it uh, add a custom date like this, but instead of using dashes, we're going to use backslashes. OK, 
Okay, it works. And then we want to save it as tutor2. And remember, as I said, make sure it's XLS. And then candidate number. And that's all. Thanks for watching. For the remainder of the question, you can go back to Finn's papers.